No, thank you. Please send to Hotel Mazarin. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Don't put that away. Give me something, please. I'm desperate. He's not permitted here. Get out. Please. It is always good fortune to give arms upon entering the city. Thanks, brother. Come on, move on. All Get right. out. All right. only just arrived. May I see you, please? I'm leaving for the show now. I think I've really discovered something. I have a record of all the... Please, no more talk now. We'll see you after show at Le Sage Bleu. Thank you. Goodbye. See you later. Please. To this address? Are you all right, sir? Yes. Please drive to address given. Yes, sir. Surely, Chan. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> well, give me a hand. Go. <laughs> It's great to see you again. Much pleasure to see you. <laughs> Go right on in. You sit down. Make yourself at home. Uh, thank you so much. Dad said in his letter you were here for a holiday. Yes. Only business in Paris is vacation. <laughs> well, you deserve one after that job in London. All the papers were full of it. Papers exaggerate importance of humble efforts. I wired Dad I'd take good care of you. We're going to have a great time. So kind. But first... One little item of business. Must open an account at Lamartine Bank. Oh, that's easy. I'll arrange an appointment for you to meet the head of the bank himself. Paul Lamartine? None other. I work there, you know. 
Dad's one of the directors, so it occurred to him that I should go and do likewise. Uh, you are bank director? Oh, no. In 20 years, maybe. Dad has the old-fashioned idea that I ought to start at the bottom and work up. Yes, uh, young bird must learn to fly. <laughs> Every day from nine till five. But after that, my time's my own, and I'm going to spend it getting you into mischief. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mischief sounds nice. Uh, then you will arrange interview... When? Tomorrow morning at 10. That is very good. Oh, you're not going. Uh, how about a little drink? Uh, no, thank you. Some other time. Oh, wait a minute, Charlie. Here, here are some friends of mine. One of them is very important. Yes? I want you to meet her. Oh. oh what is this? What do you want? Boom! <laughs> We want a drink. Don't we, old partner? We certainly do. Now, look. Oh, no, you no. sit down right here. Thank you. May I introduce Mr. Chan? Miss Lamartine. How do you do? Miss Jacquard. How do you do? And Mr. Max Corday. How do you do? Mr. Chan is from Honolulu, an old friend of my father's here on a vacation. Oh? Me very happy know you. Maybe you like to have a little glinky? Very happy to make acquaintance of a charming gentleman. Me no like it linky now, perhaps later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I know I need a drink. Help yourself, there's a cold bottle right there. Good. Me like it the linky now. All I mean, toy. <laughs> Charlie, Yvette is the important one. <laughs> Much pleasure to meet. Thank you. <laughs> you tonic for old blood. Well, you're not old at all. Well, maybe not hot, but joints sometime argue matter. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, we're engaged. Oh, that is good. <laughs> May I congratulate? Thank you. Company, forward march. <laughs> Company. Oh, one, two. <laughs> uh, in excitement of happy party, we'll not forget appointment at bank. Oh, Victor Descartes never forgets. Do I, darling? <laughs> Leave it to Victor always to get more business in the family bank. Why not? <laughs> to Mr. Chance Hardy in Paris. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Uh, you will excuse, please? Uh, must go now. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, don't move, Mr. Chan. Hold it. Just a minute now. Oh, huh? he's at it again. That's, that's <laughs> right, Mr. Chan. Hold it there, there. A few swift, bold strokes from There you are. A little souvenir of your first night in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Most clever, excellent likeness of rotund Chinese. <laughs> I may keep. By all means. Why, someday those little sketches of Max Corday may be priceless treasures. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Uh, must not intrude any longer. Oh, come along, Johnny. Why not join us? Yes, do. We'd love to have you. Some other time, please. Have heard so much about thrilling dancer at Le Singe Bleu. Uh, have desired to see. Great. I know if Mr. Chan won't join us, we'll join him. Good idea? Great idea. Absolutely. Absolutely. Then we'll hear us to the Sange Bleu. <laughs> the Sange yeah. Bleu. Folks, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Come on, Mr. Chan. Thank you so much. Come on, Don. Oh, I don't like words. Oh, here, here. Look out for you where you're going. I think the sidewalk belongs to you. <laughs> uh, none of that, no. I'll call a policeman. Wait just a minute, old man. Here. Hell, fella, run along and buy yourself a drink. And don't be so belligerent. We're not the enemy, you know. Thanks. All Thanks. right. What a horrible man. Yes, most unfortunate. Well, pardon the interruption, folks. Let's not have it spoil the fun. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
he's at it again. <laughs> All right. Very <laughs> really good. Do you like it? And you, how you like my bold strokes, my darling? <laughs> Not too bold. Oh, that was lovely. Too bad you don't dance, Mr. Chan. Uh, mud turtle in pond, more safe than men on horseback. <laughs> <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have that little star whose interpretation of the dance of Pash I know will thrill you, Mademoiselle Nardi. <laughs> So sorry. Yes, sir. That'll be all. 
Yes, sir. Well, a pretty swell apartment. Look for all letters, papers, photographs, address books. I'll examine them at my office. anything? The usual things, and a recipe for apple pie. Mm, great work, Laverne. Chinese incense burner. <laughs> Reminds me of my old friend Charlie Chan's in town. I wonder what he's doing. Solved the stable murder mystery in London, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Great work it was, too. <laughs> You'd better come along with me. I'll leave Pierre to keep an eye out in the hall. Joyful to welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honorable mother sent me cable from Honolulu saying big boss send you to Europe on buying trip. 
did not expect to see where the offspring so soon. Mm. Uh, business good? Fine. I was in Rome when I heard you were coming here, so I finished my business in a hurry and hopped a train. Now we can see Paris together. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Most welcome. <laughs> Say, you're looking great. Most fortunate to be looking at all. What do you mean? Attempt on life in last town. Indicate this humble person unwelcome in gay city. Say, I thought you were here on a vacation. A vacation only bluff. I'm here on case for London Banking House. Let me stay and help you, Dad. No. You're here for good time. Go find same. Joy in heart more desirable than bullet. She was honorable co-worker. Murdered tonight before we could have talk. That settles it, Dad. If somebody's gunning for you, I'm staying here. No. Please. Thank you so much. But you must admit there is foundation for my doubt that you came here especially to see me. I am not easily deceived, you know. You old darling, you know I can twist you right around my finger. Well, how much is it today? Well, shall we be quite reasonable and say, uh, a thousand francs? Anything, just to be rid of you. There. Receipt, please. <laughs> well, hello, stranger. Where have you been? How are you, Albert? Uh, this requires your signature. I'll look it over. I haven't seen you in ages. Won't you come in and visit me for a while? Yes, of course. Now, young lady, I'm going to make you give an account of yourself. Sit down. Cigarette? Thank you. You used to come in and see me quite often. That was a long time ago. I've missed you. Now, you're not going to start that again. Please don't. You know Victor and I are engaged. Yes. Some fellows have all the luck. Have you uh, told him about us? He knows we went around quite a bit. But does he know about your letters? Letters? Oh, you mean those foolish, silly love letters. Might not sound so foolish and silly to Victor. You haven't kept them. I treasure them. Albert, you shouldn't. You must tear them up. You've got to. I've got a better idea. I'll deliver them to you in person some evening at my apartment. I didn't think you could be so contemptible. Well, it, it was just uh, an idea. Wait here. Observe closely. Observe what? Don't know. Good detective never ask what and why until after he see. Okay, Pop. I mean, yes, sir. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Robertine. Oh, good morning, Mr. Chan. Yeah. May I help you, sir? Yes, thank you. Where can I find Mr. Victor Descartes? Uh, right over there, sir. Third window. You young fool. Your state was wrong. It was a swindle. I always knew this place was a nest of thieves. Well, if there's a mistake, I... I'll have every one of you in jail, starting with that swine Dufresne. I tell you, I've been cheated. I demand to see Dufresne. If I can't see him, I'll see Larratine himself. What's the trouble here? Mr. Servier is complaining... I tell that... you, I demand to see the managing director. I've been grossly swindled. And it's an outrage. 
I want to see Dufresne. I am the office manager. Oh, I don't want to do business with a small fry. Uh, that'll do. Take your hand off of me, will you? Don't be rough with him. Just put him outside. You, my soldier. I'll have the law on you for this. You can't do this to me. Why, I'm an old soldier of the Republic. You cheated me and robbed me. Fire, please. Get along or I'll call the police. You mean I'll call the police. I'll get justice. Then I'll end you all in jail. Good morning. Oh, hello, Charlie. Mr. Latouche. Yes, what is it? This is Mr. Chan. Oh, Mr. Chan. Yes, Mr. Descartes told me about your appointment with Mr. Lamartine. I am the office manager. Will you come this way? I must apologize for such an unpleasant scene. Uh, apology not necessary. Xavier, poor fellow. He, he's hardly human. An unfortunate relic of the war. Shell shock. Xavier, <laughs> he has odd name. Yes, yes, Xavier, Marcel Xavier. Mm. Of course, the bank, as a rule, doesn't deal with such petty accounts as his, but Mr. Lamartine's sympathetic nature, he, he's such a fine man, sir. <laughs> Kindness in heart, better than gold in bank. Excuse me, come in. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Lamartine's in conference, sir, with Mr. Dufresne. That's quite all right, Fidel. After you, Mr. Chan. Mr. Lamartine, this is Mr. Chan. You had an appointment. So, How are you, sir? So glad to meet. This is Mr. Dufresne, Mr. Chan. How do you do? Much pleasure to meet. Oh, just sit down, Mr. Chan. Thank you so much. Well, Mr. Chan, what can I do for you? You're here on a holiday, I understand. Uh, business, too, about uh, bonds of this bank. <laughs> Our bonds are the best investment in France today, eh, Dufresne? Not better. And now we have a new issue of force, Mr. Chan. Pardon, please. Uh, business uh, about last bond issue. Please forgive deception about vacation. Uh, business very serious for you. What do you mean? Clients in England who buy many of these bonds send me here to investigate fraud in your bank. Fraud? In my bank? Please will explain. Note. Numbers are same, but printing not quite. There must be some mistake. Mm, the printing varies unquestionably. It is a forgery. Signature, not forgery. It is my signature. How can such a thing be possible? Someone must have included these with the real bonds at the time you signed them. There are six pairs, each of a different thousand. That means that this business has run through the entire issue. What are we going to do? Investigate. That is why I am here. If this becomes known, there'll be a panic. Thousands of people will suffer. Clients in London of same opinion. Secrecy most necessary. Even police must not know. What do you want us to do, Mr. Chen? First step, must have complete list of all sales of this issue. You shall have it within 24 hours. I'll make a checkup at the other banks immediately. Good. Meantime, I'm stopping at Hotel Mazarin. Oh, can I drop you off? No, thank you. I have a car waiting. I'll let you know what I find. Be assured, we'll help you to get to the bottom of this, Mr. Chen. Must turn up many stones to find hiding place of snake. Good day. Good day. Must follow. Who? Him? The important fox must not know hounds pursue. Charlie, my friend, well, how are you? How are you? Now, what are you up to in Paris? <laughs> up to holiday. See Paris, die happy. Good. Well, it'll only take a moment to deposit my monthly insult, and then we'll make a day of it. We'll talk shop at the department, have a good time, and then tonight the best dinner in France. <laughs> Excuse, please. Now, no excuses. I'm a dangerous man to a friend, and if you don't come along, I shall be offended. 
Only foolish men waste words when argument is lost. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> then we can take in Egypt and, and the pyramids in the moonlight and all that. And after Egypt? Well, if there's any place you'd like to go, we might take that in too. I suppose a bride-to-be has something to say about her honeymoon trip. Say, you act as though you were in Egypt right now. You, you haven't heard a word I said. Oh, of course I have. You were saying that, uh... Well, what were you saying? Is there anything the matter? Oh, nothing, really. Have I said anything? Oh, of course not. I need some sleep, that's all. We've been out late every night this week. Oh, well, if that's all it is, you can sleep late tomorrow. Come on, let's go somewhere and dance. No, my mind's made up. I'm going to get some sleep. Tomorrow night, then? I suppose I could be persuaded. <laughs> I persuaded you to become engaged to me, didn't I? Well, of course, I had nothing to say about that. Nothing at all, except to say yes. Home, James? Oh, home it is, then. Good night. Good night. Say it. I won't say it. Because you know perfectly well that I love you. Good night. Hello. Is that you, Dufresne? Oh, uh, hello. Is that money coming today? Uh, yes, uh, two million francs. Uh, it's in my box at the bank. Why didn't you meet me as we planned? Why, was that Chinese snooping around? Are you certain that money's in your box? Of course I'm certain. What are you driving at? Then why are you taking the midnight plane to Switzerland? Why, uh, to head off Garam before he tries to sell that last series of bonds you printed, that's why. Now, we've got to be more careful until this thing cools down. I think you're lying to me, Dufresne. I'm not lying. I'm using my head. Hello. 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 Oh, uh, it's you. Come in. I had fallen asleep while reading. I'm sorry I disturbed you. It's perfectly all right. I'm glad you came.
Won't you sit down? No, thanks. I'll come for my letters. May I have them? Why, certainly. You didn't believe I was really going to keep them. Well, what else was I to think? I'll prove that you're wrong. Then you're really going to give them back to me? Of course. They're right here in my desk, waiting for you. I'm not the big bad wolf you thought I was. There you are, my dear. Go and get a policeman. Yes, sir. Oh, hurry, hurry, Thomas. Oh. I'm hurting the shirt. What's the matter in here? What was that noise? I thought it was a pistol shot in there. I thought it was a pistol shot in there. I thought it was a pistol shot in there. Now get in here. Keep moving. It's murder. She killed him. I didn't kill him. Look, here's the gun. Don't touch that. Don't let her get away. I'm not trying to get away. Police headquarters. As to who killed Nardi? During the last few weeks, this girl has been seen with some of the richest men in town. Well, listen to these names. Emmanuel Castaneda from the Argentine. Paul Dorville, French financier. Albert Dufresne, banker. And a half a dozen others. Men worth millions. And one of these do murder? Oh, no, Charlie, no. Here, let me show you. A beautiful girl like Nardi couldn't go around with the men she did without stepping on some other woman's toes. All right. Somewhere, sometime, she aroused the jealousy of some discarded sweetheart who determined to kill her. A woman familiar with Nardi's act, a clever, intelligent woman, smart enough to conceive and execute a fairly ingenious crime. Well, it's a perfect case. Hmm. Only one small detail missing. Yes, what's that? Murder. Perfect case, like perfect donut, has hold. <laughs> oh, I see. Same old pessimist, aren't you? <laughs> Optimist only sees donut. Pessimist sees hole. Yes, he's here. Just a moment, please. <laughs> I beg your pardon, gentlemen. Police headquarters on a telephone for you. Oh, thank you, Pierre. Excuse me, Charlie, please. Thank you. Hello? Yes? Renard speaking. Who? Where? Yes, yes, of course. I'll come myself at once. Yes. Pierre, my check, please. Yes, sir. Well, Charlie, here's where I plug the hole in your donut. Not satisfied with killing the woman who stole her sweetheart, our murderers has now shot the man who threw her over. And this woman is... Uh... Yvette Lamartine, daughter of the banker. Must make correction, please. Well, go ahead. Impossible, Miss Lamartine killed Nardi. Possible? Why? Last night she with me when Nardi killed. With you? That is hole in first donut. Oh. Oh, thank you. All right, Charlie, it was just a guess. But there is no hole in this one. They have caught her. Practically red-handed. We go see? Right. You have all their names and addresses? Yes, sir. You'll be called when your testimony is required. No one is to leave the city. You may go now. So you continue to refuse to tell me the real reason for your visit to this apartment? I merely dropped in to say hello. We were friends. Friends? How long had you known Mr. Dufresne? 
since he became my father's assistant two years ago. Oh, come now, Miss Lamartine. Please, let's be reasonable. Surely you don't expect us to believe your fantastic story of a mysterious black-gloved hand which you say threw a gun into this room? I told you the truth. You were discovered in this room with a gun in your hand from which one shot had been fired. You made a desperate effort to escape. Aren't those the facts? Why? Well, Aren't those the facts? Yes. Good. Now we're getting somewhere. How long had you been on intimate terms with Albert Dufresne? I'd rather not understand you. I mean, how long have you been in the habit of paying visits to this apartment at night, alone? I refuse to answer such a question. Very well, then. Another little question. Why did you kill Albert Dufresne? I didn't kill him. I've told you what happened. The shot was fired from in there, and someone threw the gun into this room. You came here tonight because you knew he was going away. He was tired of you. In a fit of jealousy, you shot him. It isn't true. I didn't do it. I didn't kill him. Ready, Gaston? Ready, sir. Fingerprint her. Have Marchand compare them. Yes, sir. Over here, please. This way, please. Place the three fingers of the right hand on this pad. Then press them on this paper. What's going on around here? You'll be properly informed. Now, look here. I come up to see my friend Albert, and I find the entire place surrounded by hundreds of policemen. Now, what is this? Look, we want to see Albert. Albert Euphrain is dead. Murdered. <gasps> Did I understand you to say Albert has been murdered? Yes. You say you're a friend of his. A very good friend. Laverne. Take down this gentleman's answers to my questions. That's all, thank you. to believe you, but facts now are very necessary. You are engaged to a very nice young man. You must have had reason for presence here. Why? Desire to help, if can. You that is. Why? Is something wrong? Step inside, please. You may go now. I beg your pardon, but this murder has been a great shock to me. Murder? Not Mr. Dufresne. Come in, please. I'll answer all your questions. Good evening, Mr. Chan. When did it happen? Who did it? Just who are you? I'm Henry Latouche of the Lamartine Bank. I'm Mr. Dufresne's close associate. I came in to see him on a matter of importance connected with... Sit down, please. I'll question you later. Two 
HCG. Hmm. All through, Gaston? All through, sir. Well, the fingerprints on the gun are hers, all right. There's a small scar on her right thumb, which makes identification easy. Good. All right, that's all. Take her away. Miss Lamartine. Well, Charlie? Do you believe, young lady, guilty? Don't you? A hasty conclusion, like gunpowder, easy to explode. Oh, all right, Charlie. Let's have it. What have you found? Answer in there. But I've already inspected this room. And I looked out here, too. Find nothing? Not a thing. No burnt match, no monogram cigarette stub, not even the threads torn from a tweed suit. <laughs> uh, flowers maybe say something. Flowers? What do you mean? By George, look at that. That stem must have been broken during the last hour. Why, the flower's not even wilted. It looks as if someone may have come up here by this balcony, doesn't it? That is hole in second donut. Mm. Oh, comfortable bed now, most desirable. Oh, I see. You can't take it, Charlie, can you? Charlie Chan, very sleepy. <laughs> this is terrible, Mr. Chan. Terrible. Isn't there something that I can do? Now, just take it easy, old man. I'll be with you in just a moment. Charlie, it's an open and shut case. In spite of your donuts, that young lady is going to find it very difficult to explain her fingerprints on that gun. Very difficult to explain hole and donut, but hole always there. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> I know you did not kill anybody. I'm sorry, Pop. But I got a lot to tell you. I made notes. <laughs> tell me on the way. Okay, Pop. Say, Pop. I... Wait, please. You watch here all evening? Sure. And I saw, please. Perhaps you see men on crutches come out. Maybe after you hear gunshot? Yeah. The same guy I saw at the bank this morning. How'd you know? You follow? I'll say I did. He got into an old taxi and I trailed it. I never let it out of my sight. And when he stopped about five miles from here, a limousine pulled up alongside and he got into it. Can you beat that? Well, what happened next? I stepped on the gas and got close enough to spot the car's number. But it was a high-powered baby. And he got away from me. Mm. Eyes of kitten open only after nine days. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, that isn't all. When I came back to Dufresne's apartment, I saw the same limousine. I checked the license plate and some guy I've never seen before came out of the house with a girl and they got into it and drove away. Men have walking stick? Yes. A girl have small round hat? That's them. Do you know him? Man is artist. He draws very funny pictures. <laughs> Why, hello, Mr. Chan. Come in. Glad to see you. Here, let me have your hat. Thank you so much. 
Well, this is a surprise. Mm. And this time, Mr. Chan, I'm not going to ask you to have a little blinky, but I want you to have a drink. <laughs> much pleasure. Sit down, please. Thank you so much. You know, Mr. Chan, I'm all broken up about this thing. Albert Dufresne was one of my closest friends. And can you imagine Yvette Lamartine doing a thing like that? Excuse, please. Miss Lamartine did not kill. Guilty man is crippled soldier. Name, Marcel Xavier. Uh, maybe you can give me information. I? <laughs> well, I gladly, of course, if I can. But uh, why me? Tonight, after murder, Xavier come from Dufresne apartment, depart in taxi cab, and later get into your car. My car? You mean to say that this man used my car? For what? Maybe to take off disguise? I don't understand. Oh, I see. This Xavier character is only a disguise for the murderer. He commits his crime, escapes in a taxi, uses somebody's car in which to take off his makeup, and then steps out in his true character with no one the wiser. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Very clever idea. <laughs> Oh, say, you didn't come up here thinking I might be Xavier. <laughs> like all detectives, must consider every possibility. <laughs> well, it's a lucky thing for me that uh, Xavier bumped into me last night in front of that cafe. You remember? Oh, yes, ye yes, yes. <laughs> Please forgive stupid error. Why, certainly, Mr. Chan. All's forgiven. I must <laughs> go now. So sorry to disturb. Well, it's quite all right. I'm sorry I couldn't have been of any more help to you. On the contrary, <laughs> have been most helpful. Oh, your hat. Thank you so yeah. much. Good night. Good night. What's the idea? You are leaving on long journey? Uh, why, I... Uh... Inside, please. Little keyhole. Big friend to stupid detective. Have you found something, Dad? Broken bank seal, found at Dufresne apartment, matches perfectly with this broken seal. That man is murderer. This washes the case up, doesn't it, Dad? He killed Dufresne and the dancer Nardi. No. Night Nardi killed this man with me. Must find murderer of Nardi. C19337 series M. C19337 series M. Right. D31286 series L. D31286 series L. Right. I had to break a date with Lucille tonight, down the luck. Wonder what the idea of the bond checkup is. I don't know. Old lamartine has been buzzing about all day like a fly with one wing. But it's impossible, Mr. Chan. I have no authority to give you Mr. Xavier's address. To show you matter most important. No, I can't and I won't. That's final, Mr. Chan. What is so final, Bedell? Perhaps I can be of service. Most humble apologists make so much trouble. 
but desire to know where I can find Marcel Xavier. May I ask why, Mr. Chan? This morning, I hear him make threat against man now dead. So he did. So he did. Get Xavier's card at once. Of course, you're going to arrest him. Canary bird out of cage may fly far. Ah, poor Dufresne. What a tragedy. To be shot down in the very prime of life. He was a splendid man, Mr. Chen. A splendid man. Ah, here we are. Marcel Xavier. Rue du Pont, number 17. Rather a nasty neighborhood, Mr. Chen. Charlie! I've been looking all over for you. You've got to help Yvette. Isn't this something you can do? I don't believe she killed him. Even if she was in his apartment, she must have had some good reason for being there. Faith is best foundation for happy future. Then you don't think she did it either? Can I show you, young lady is... Innocent. Oh, I knew it. Oh, she couldn't have done it, Charlie. But innocence must be proven. You would like to help? Would I? Say, I, I, I'd do anything. I'd, I, I'd tear up the stones in the street. Uh, not necessary. You can please help me to this address? Rudy Plant, 17. Uh, come on, Charlie, let's go. Phone's been ringing for ten minutes. It's getting on my nerves. Don't open your mouth. Hello? Yes. All right. Who was that? Where's my father going? Where is Javier? Try and find out. You go back to car and wait. You're going down there, I'm going with you. Take that. What about you? Always carry a spare in case of blowout. What are you going to do? You cannot see content to nut until shell is cracked. Look. Why? There aren't any on it. 
man cannot drink from glass without touching. Duffy was all shot up during the war. Maybe he has to wear gloves. You have seen him at bank perhaps many times. He wear gloves? I, I don't remember. Have seen Xavier at airport upon arrival in city. On street, night not a killed and in bank. No gloves. You certainly got an eye for detail. Grain of sand and I may hide mountain. Strange for man to wear gloves inside and outside with their hands. Say, that is odd. Blow out candle. Come. Only bullfrog. A creepy place, isn't it? Many strange crimes committed in the sewers of Paris. Charlie, Lamartine Bonds, 19337. Very clever forgeries. Forgeries? Yes. And here are tools for engraving and printing machine. That's why we were checking up that series of bonds in the bank today. Yes. Did you find something, Charlie? List of bond forgeries. What? 
Why, that's the sketch Max made last night at the cafe. Charlie, do you think... Did you hear that? Turn out the lights. You all right, Charlie? Yes, thank you so much. Marksmanship, most excellent, but made mistake of shooting a flashlight on end of moving broomstick. You meddling devil. Honorable ancestors refute suggested kinship. Hands down, please. We seem to arrive here ahead of your Mr. Zavier, all right? When Zavier phoned Corday, I knew you were on the spot. I got hold of Mr. Renard. Yes, Charlie, he told me all about it. Don't worry. We'll take care of this Xavier when he shows up. You two men stay here. Go back upstairs and tell the sergeant. Wait, please. Uh, not necessary. What's that? Show you. Stand up. You got him, didn't you, Pop? That's Marcel Xavier. Correction, please. There is no... Marcel Xavier. No Xavier. Who the devil is he? Please to remove gloves. Note. Hands not those of beggar. Tell me what's all this about. Answer concealed, maybe. Behind. Paul's face! Mr. Latouche! All right, Charlie, I'm waiting for the answer. Bond forgery plot conceived by very clever criminals, Corday and Latouche. Between them, they create fictitious character, Marcel Xavier. When Latouche is Xavier, Corday is Corday. When Corday is Xavier, Latouche is Latouche. Oh, I begin to see. System gives both men perfect alibi. Oh, by George, that is clever. How did you guess it, Charlie? Correction, please. Did not guess. <laughs> Gentlemen who give me Xavier's address, Make mistake of leaving same handwriting down here on list of uh, bond numbers. Oh. See? Hmm. Also, gentlemen, overplay hand in acting part of Xavier for me. Both know I go to cafe. Latouche appear as Xavier and Corday give him money. Inside the cafe, Corday watch me while Latouche kill my assistant. Assistant? Yes, the dancer, Mardi. Next morning, Corday know I go to bank. He appears, Xavier, and play scene with Latouche. But what about Dufresne? Dufresne was accomplice in bank, who tried to cheat Latouche and Corday. 
Tonight, when Dufresne planned to leave the city with the money received from bond forgeries, Corday arrived in the apartment as Xavier killed him and later take off disguise and car. Well, good work, Charlie. All right, Laverne, take him away. Come on. Uh, may, may I see you, please? Why, certainly. Must trouble you to release other assistant from prison. Other assistant? Yes. Miss Lamartine. You see, she in Dufresne apartment to get information. Very important letters for me. But I don't see. Oh. So the age of chivalry isn't dead after all. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, come along, Charlie. You tell me all about it over a cup of coffee. And uh, donuts? Yes. Yeah. <laughs>